What's up, YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the Transformers Studio Series Rise of the Beasts Mirage. So this is actually the second time I'm filming this because the first time I said jazz <laughs> because it is a Porsche after all. Um, but in the movie, Mirage was a Porsche. And I got this because it is an officially licensed Porsche. You know, this is the Porsche 911 Carrera RS, which we'll see in the vehicle mode. And it's the first one we've had in a long time that's officially licensed by Porsche. So that's why I wanted to look at it. Um, you'll note right away, though, and I think so will people who didn't want to buy this figure, is he does not look like Mirage from the movie. There's a lot of things that look different. I'll put the image there if I can find a good one. Uh, but number one, he's got translucent arms for some weird reason. He's got, you know, this blue on here. The face sculpt is pretty good looking, but I don't think it looks like Mirage from the movie. It's got some nice metallic blue paint, though. And then the legs are just way off. I, they, I guess they couldn't figure out what to do with the doors. You know, and you can configure it different ways. This is the most unobtrusive way to put the legs, but... Yeah, he just doesn't look like the movie. I think that's why a lot of people, you know, were kind of disappointed by this. But for me personally, I think the alt mode is what's cool about it. Here's the back. He's got a lot of junk in the trunk. Basically the whole top of the car. But I do think the head sculpt and some of the paint does look nice. Let's get into his articulation. The head is on a ball joint. So you get up and down in there, a little bit of side to side. And that'll rotate all the way around. It's got a big bar on the back of his head for some reason. Uh, shoulders rotate around on a ball joint. There's a hinge that goes up and down. So you get that shoulder dropped up and down. And then there's an the inner joint as well. You have rotation at the bicep, at a cut joint. 90 degree out, bend at the elbow, a rotation at the wrist. Your know, rotation at the waist is a little bit hindered just due to all the kibble that gets in the way. No ab crunch. Legs will kick up to there, back to there if you get it out of the way, and then out to the side on a ball joint. Your rotation at the thigh, it's at a mushroom peg. So that works. You have a bend at the knee, but it's very hard to use just because you got all this stuff in the way. But you can kind of get it just under 90 degrees. Uh, and like I said, there's just there's just a lot of stuff in the way. If you move the wheel out of the way, you can get a little bit more, but it really is quite hindered on that knee. There's a lot of stuff blocking it. For the foot, it is a little strange because you have this on the inside. That is how it goes. <laughs> but you have a ball joint, so you get up and down, side to side, and a rotation. As far as the weapons, you get this single blaster here, just done in a gray plastic that matches the rest of the color that'll fit into his hand, either hand. And now he has that blaster, which I think looks pretty good. Could have stand to have some paint on it, though. And for a quick size comparison, there it is next to the Rise of Beast Optimus Prime, which I think people will be surprised to have in my collection. Uh, but yeah, he scales in nicely with him. Nice carbot-sized robot. Um, yeah, and they look good together. All right, now let's get Mirage transformed into his alt mode. Go ahead, and you can remove the gun. And we'll start with the upper body. So come to the back here, you can unfold all of this. And just get that out of the way. Fold back the backpack, you're gonna lift up on this piece right here. That's gonna fold outwards. And we can kind of take this entire backpack. And we can take this. And that's gonna come down and tab in right here. Come back to the front here and we'll take care of all this. So go ahead and rotate the head back. We can open up these panels here, front of the vehicle. And we're going to fold this panel up past the head. And then we can bring this panel back down and then tab that into the front. There's two little tabs on the sides of these bumpers. And that'll fit in like that. All right. Come to the top here, and we'll take care of all this. Actually, going to open up the waist here. We're going to rotate the waist 180 degrees. And then you can bring that back down. 
and then we'll take care of this. So bring these arms down on these armatures. Bring the wheel down, and that's going to tab into here. This is going to tab on the other side, and just press the lights in. And then these doors are going to come back, or not the doors, the side windows are going to come back to the side, tab into here, and then it should sit right here. And then the arms, the hands, are going to fold. I think so. You want the flat side on the top. All right. So same on this side. Bring this back. Make sure this is folded in. Tab it into the side. And then make sure the hand is folded so you have the flat side on the top. Leave this here for now. We're going to take care of this kind of closer to the end. But now we'll take care of these legs. And the legs are a little bit annoying. But we're going to take this panel here. And this is going to become the wheel well. It's going to rotate the back. And rotate this forward. Bring this wheel out on this panel. And that's going to come right to here. We're going to fold a little bit at the knee to bring this closer. It's going to tab in to there. So tab into the door. And then you want this extended. I forgot to mention that. You want this extended up, and then you want to bring this waist piece down. And that'll get this lined up. So you can get this pegged into the front here. So it should look like that. And this should look like that. You can take the foot, rotate this around, and then tab it in to the wheel well. And then take this piece, it's just going to fold in like that. All right, so we'll do the same thing on this side. All right, and then last step here, go ahead and take this. These are going to slide into here, so slide this down and into the back. And just make sure those make their way underneath and onto the side. So get the sides in. It does take a nice squeeze to get them in there. And then get the back onto there as well. Last step here, go ahead and take the gun. You can see there's two tabs on the side and two slots here underneath. So you can slide these into that slot to store the weapon. And it actually ends up looking like part of the drivetrain there. All right, and there he is. Jazz in his alt mode. Just kidding. Mirage in his alt mode. And it's got a lot of nice details on it. You get the nice metallic blue stripe across the top. Little tiny Autobot symbol on the front. Painted headlights, fog lights. Painted wheels, red here on that back. It is very accurate to the Porsche. My biggest issue though is there is so much panel breakup up here. It almost starts looking not like a Porsche um, just because of this. Especially right here. This is a signature, you know, look of the Porsche, and just to have all that breakup, it really it's kind of you know disappointing to have that look. But from the side, it really does look like that Porsche. There's the back. Bottom, pretty clean. It does look like a vehicle. I mean, all in all, it's really nice. It does roll pretty well over my non-even surface here. And for quick size comparison, there he is next to the Earthrise Optimus Prime. I don't have the Rise of the Beast one transformed, but fits in nicely in the car mode. So, final recommendations on the Transformer Studio Series Rise of the Beast Mirage. And this one was tough for me. I think I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 partial recommendation. It gets in its own way a lot. You know, the, the articulation on the robot mode, there's just so much kibble on him. He really just kind of gets in his own way. And then the transformation is also not that fun just because of the same reason, right? He just gets in his own way along the way. Vehicle mode was supposed to be the payoff here because it's an officially licensed Porsche, which we haven't had in a while. But... Even that <laughs> has a lot of panel breakup and panel lines just because of the way they designed the transformation. It looks okay from the side but and the top, but from the front, it just looks kind of weird. So it didn't fully pay off for me. Now, I still really like this alt mode. It's kind of a mixed bag for me. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.